A group of students spent one weekend investigating New Iberia's historic plantation, Shadows on the Tesh. Using radio frequencies, they believe they were able to make contact with the spirits of past owners. News 10's Hope Ford explains the phenomena, which could explain what they experienced. Oh, wow. It's a phenomena known as pareidola. It causes our brains to enter survival mode, perceiving an image or sound as significant in order for our brains to make sense of what is being seen or heard. For instance, seeing this angry kayak or these mean peppers or asking a question and expecting to hear a certain answer. <laughs> The word seven was heard through white noise when a student asked how many living people were in the room. In a different room of Shadows on the Tesh, another group had a similar experience. When she asked, uh, told it, so I love your paintings and stuff like that, there was a little hesitation, but that said, thank you. And it was, it was, it was clear. clear. Mm -hmm. It was clear enough for, you know, uh, you just regularly to pick it up. No doubt, something came across. Whether or not it was the spirit of William Weeks Hall thanking his visitors or simply pareidola is up to the skeptics, believers, and listeners. As far as other evidence, a few photographs showed random specks of light, which Brad Duplachet quickly explained was simply reflections off chandeliers. No chairs elevated in the air, no glowing eyes or growling demons, but it was easy to feel that something was with us. More than just weird feelings. Um felt like almost being brushed on the arm or chills and little interactions we've had with the, some of the devices. Does this prove Shadows is haunted? Well, not really, but then again, it doesn't prove that it's not. For KLFY News 10, I'm Hope Ford reporting.